There you are, folks. Welcome to uh, our post. We have Jackie up online, hopefully. And uh, we've got a picture. Yes, indeed. We Hello. Are <laughs> Jackie, how's it going? Great to see you. Uh, yes, yes. Nice, uh, nice afternoon. At least it's not raining. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Jackie, we are, we've been trying to get in contact with each other, but um, it seems that the gods um, are doing their best not to connect us. Now, you have a, an amazing event on. It's going to be on the 19th of June. It's a workshop and an event in Club Mike Noise at three o'clock on the 19th of June. And then there's one at 7 uh, p.m. the 21st of June. Now, it's Saltus, Saltus linking Saltus. trees yeah. and river of the River Shannon. Explain yeah. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, just to correct, it's not in the monas it's not in the official site, you okay. know. This is like a sacred walk and we're going oh, to park um, and it has to be booked, though. You know, that's why I prefer people to book with me and then I'll tell them the parking and everything, you know, uh, because we don't want huge numbers. Um, it's, it's really because the solstice is traditionally quite a special time of year. And we've had such a funny few years, as you know, and I think uh, people have still got we, we all have a certain fuddled minds you know so um i think it's a good opportunity to go into nature and let the let especially the trees soothe us and the the sort of energy i should think most people understand this the sort of energy that trees give you and that the rivers you know the flowing water gives you it, it's very soothing and healing and it actually can help you find peace and find what you really want to do next going forward sort of keep it's a good thing to do, I think, at the summer solstice, halfway through the year. That's kind of the plan. And I'm doing it because someone invited me to plan it. I, I didn't uh, I didn't dream this up. It was <laughs> another course I did. And the organizer that I think, you know, um, actually invited me to do something for the summer solstice. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you're living uh, down in County Clare in the Bourne. They're not just over the border in South Galway, actually, but yes, we won't split hairs over that. Um, I, I, I used to do workshops because um, I, I wrote a couple of books. First of all, 1999, a small pamphlet. I'm trying to get it into the picture Beautiful, here. Yeah. Uh, and it's all, it's all pictures and poems explaining the essence of each tree in the Celtic calendar. Wow. And uh, this, this is because I realised uh, it was kind of a, a spiritual process for people to go through the year connecting with each tree. Uh, and then I wrote a bigger book, and that's where uh, the person who invited me uh, to do the course on helping people connect with nature, and that's a much bigger book, you know. <laughs> oh. So I've actually got these books at the events, and these ones are going at a, a good discount for anyone who attends. Now, before, um, before we go any further, how do we get, if our viewers are looking in here now, how will they get in contact, or how did they get their tickets? Yeah, well, uh, I have so many social media links. It's on um, meet, a Meetup Group. It's on, you know, I can't keep up with it. Facebook pages, Earthwise, right. Earthwise Meetup or something. And anyway, I think the easiest thing is yeah. uh, is for you to say is, is um, just my name, Jackie Queely at gmail.com. Brilliant. Um, we so just that one. Um, and and uh, Q U E A L L Y. Yes, that is an old Claire name. So you've got, oh, really? you've got yeah. it, I, should, I should be over the border in Claire. It's it's from the coast of Claire. Yeah, you know, you've got Fenor and then you've got Ennis Diamond, La Hinch, all, all that area is the Queenie Queen clan. And uh, I, 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 you're, you're from England originally or your family? Yeah, not England? my father. and he, he left at, he, he left at 18 and went to London and he actually came back at 55 from London um uh, he was able to retire at 55 and play golf and he's 90 now and he's Whoa. still going he's, he's not playing golf now so he, he yeah so uh, that's uh, that's how my parents met they both had to leave for work you know my mother's from Glengariff oh, right, so yeah, yeah. so you, did you live in England for a while yourself? 
oh yeah, I was born in London, mm. and where and then my mother died. I, I came over about fourteen years ago because dad dad needed some help, um, right. and I kind of stayed on because it's such a lovely country. I'm and sure you agree your, there. <laughs> and then what 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 is your training, or what exactly is your oh, profession? It, uh, well, well, I used to actually lived in Scotland, and I ran a sacred sites tour for about ten years from Edinburgh. Fantastic. So this book was during the Edinburgh Festival and somebody asked me to do a tour of the Holyrood Park. So I, I got into this as a hobby. And uh, um, yeah, and then I came to Ireland and I did some workshops, wrote more books and I got into healing as well, which I did off and on through my life. So I'm really into the healing energies of nature and I've, uh, I use sound. So I see you do the bong bong and I, <laughs> I've got a gong here if you want to hear it, but uh, oh, give it a bang. We, we can bong our way out. But uh, the gong is also something that really um, I've actually done a whole month in Nova Scotia with with sound with the trees. They invited me there for there. It's incredible how people find me in funny ways, you know, and they, they said that they wanted uh, to to really connect deeper with trees and Trees are very sensitive. They, they, they're very open to human uh, intent, I think, you know. Um, well, the sort of the other, I, I mean, I heard of some people saying tree huggers and all that, but I mean, I, I understand energy and all that, but what, what would you say like with a tree? I mean, you walk up to a tree and you go, hello, tree. But I mean, where is the energy? Or do you literally, when you walk up to a tree, you can feel the energy from the tree? you put your hands on your heart just then I don't know if you realize you kind of put your hands there yeah. and that's really I think the barrage you feel it in your heart um I've I've done experiments with trees and I don't know if you my grandfather was a diviner right you know for water but yeah. you can also do, we call it dowsing with the yeah. rods or the pendulum and we can we can measure the and I get people to do this, but not. We, this is another workshop I might do if people want it the following, I think, Saturday. But, uh, you know, people can actually find the edge of the energy field and they're actually a triple energy field around a tree. Wow. And then as you play music to it, like if you sing, yeah. the human voice yeah. is really good. Or if you play a, a single tuning fork, it's a single note, but a gong, has so many overtones and rich tones, it's going to go in somehow. Combine that with your appreciation, your, your love for the plant or the tree, and they really can sense it. And, and I've, I've had um, all walks of life try this, including, as I said, a university in Nova Scotia, and, and, and it did work. It, you know, the, the tree improved its energy field, and that can only be good for the trees. I did some work with the ash trees with a couple of women a few months ago too. I don't know. We haven't been back to see the results, but I think this whole thing is, is thing of the future. And funnily enough, I'm, I'm in a group with um, various scientists studying it at the moment. Um, I've got a cosmologist and <laughs> people like this um, because this is the new physics, if you like vibration. So that's another aspect, you know, we've got on a tangent here, I know, but yeah, the yeah. workshop is really uh, about our thoughts. Uh, it's a, you know, a collective thought. We'll go a lovely walk to the river that I've checked out on public paths. And then again, you know, joining the thing, you know, just sending our loving, uh, connecting the, the nunnery actually with the river and seeing what happens because, you can make a structure, but actually what happens is in the lap of the gods, a bit like mm. us not being able to connect, you know. So um, so I found I did I did one in Regent's Park in London right. where amazing things happened, you know. I I I mean I, I'm a bit shy of talking about it, but it does move things, it does move people and it moves it moves nature. With the tree the then. Uh, the trees can talk to each other underneath to see as well. Isn't that right? And Absolutely. Yeah. And the other thing is um, there's a guy called Marco Pogacnik was the U um, UNESCO artist for peace. He's done work on the border with Northern Ireland too. He was invited by the Northern Irish government and I've worked with him in Ireland and he has some nice exercises to do to help you connect with nature because we we've lost that connection. We, we know it in some ways. No. 
know it and Irish people had it really big time to not long ago mm. but we we've we've you know we're just going through this glitch I think in human history yeah. when we're, we're a bit disconnected so yeah. anything that can help us connect not just with ourselves but the other realms you know nature realms and the thing about trees is that it's also I'm finding very connected to uh the, the cosmic forces you know so that's you know it, they're so sensitive everything kicks off from the trees huh yeah, they're abridged between worlds, and and they're very beautiful at Clonmacnoise. There's a serenity and a an openness to that area to go to. I find, yeah, brilliant. So your event is going to be really um, not too far from Clonmacnoise itself, and um, so mm. people can get in contact with you. Yes, um, it's a walk. It's a walk, walk and uh, some talking, but it's not all talking. It's it's med. It's breathing, it's imagination, and and sharing what we experience in doing these this breath work but it's not difficult i'm no, not no, it's no, not no. As, i hope i'm not making it sound complicated no no no, no. i mean you were, we're yeah. just sort of painting a little picture for people who are looking in if they want to come on board, on board they're very very welcome and it says we've given them the information absolutely i mean young people especially we'd love people that maybe haven't tried anything like this you know they're our future them, you know my dear it's a pleasure to talk to you and i'm looking forward to the event itself now i play you the gong quickly give us the gong definitely <laughs> so this is jackie queely and uh, she's a great event coming up it's on on the 19th of june and the 21st of june and she's going to finish off our broadcast today with this her is... own bong brilliant you Take... bong bong <laughs> It's very quiet. Uh -huh. Come in closer to the mic. Brilliant. Excellent, Jackie. Look, thanks a million. And hold on a second, Jackie. We just a little problem here. Hello? Uh, asked to unmute. I think you've unmuted or did we unmute? When did you unmute? When did I you? I don't know. I must have pressed something. So here we go once again. This is certainly <laughs> sugar. Jackie keeps on muting on me here. Look, God bless. Thank you very, very much. I don't know where you are. It keeps on. It keeps muting. It's too much for the computer. It's too much. <laughs> the energy. <laughs> Thank you very, very much and the very, very best of luck. We hope to chat to you very soon. Yeah, see you maybe. Thank you very much. God bye bless. Bye, bye for now. <laughs>